This is crazy. That fountain I imported from Italy. May I offer you a don, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. So you just got three. You just got all three of these Porsches. Yeah, and I, I have the um, a sports classic too. Is at the house. Yeah. But my GT3 RS that's on the boat now. I think that's my most exciting one. But yes, for this sure. is probably the most the, the best sounding Porsche under 200 grand. Shifting everything, and you're 181,000. You get got a white side package on yeah. it. You know, you don't have to worry about beating it up, take it to the track. No car has been beaten harder than my GT3 RS, my no 992. Way. Yeah, we beat the yeah. crap out of that thing, put 15,000 miles on it. What? No never, way. never no. a mechanical problem other than the aftermarket exhaust we put on rattled yeah. and came apart, but nothing factory issue. That's I've heard awesome. that, that this car is incredibly well balanced. It is. Is the it way, awesome? It's better than the GT3 RS. Really? Oh, yeah. shit. What, yeah. what spec did you do on your 3 RS? Um, I went with the um, Tribute con uh, Edition. The, the, it was shown at the Pebble Beach. It's white with the white green. White with the green? Cool. Yeah. Oh, That's a pretty I spec. Think, yeah, they offered it to the VIP oh, yeah. Porsche customers. I'm like, if it's limited, they said, yeah, it's super limited. Yeah. I figured, hey, you know. And I already seen it. I liked it. Because you could go crazy with that colors, right? Yellow, yeah. red. And they all look great on the screen. Yeah. So you could really yeah. lose yourself spec in a Porsche. But yes. if, if they do offer a limited edition spec. I love the, the Ruby Star on that car, the pink with yeah. the uh, Wizek with all the cars. Oh, yeah. I think it's such a cool spec. We'll need a pink car at some point. We'll do it we'll, at some point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got purple. <laughs> the the Remax going to be purple. They made only 750 of this model, is a Porsche design. It Very was tough. really to celebrate their timepieces. Yeah. So it does come with a watch, mandatory. You got to buy the watch. <laughs> It's in the front. I've never worn it. And then there's Porsche America. They only made 99. All right. Uh, this is to celebrate the uh, 356 Porsche in 1956. Yeah. 1952. Sorry. So it's 70 years of America Roadster. Yep. You know, I like limited. So when they said, hey, there's only 99 of them yeah. in the world, I said, send me the invoice. Do you make these decisions? Like when they tell you it's limited, do you pretty much just know you're going to make money when you sell them? Is that why it's Eventually, yeah. I mean, okay. you know, I can't hold three, 400 cars. So yeah. after two or three years, eventually I sell one, I buy two. Yeah. It's a, you know, working process. And there's but, only so much, like I, I found that there is a yeah. limit where affordability becomes like of course, a yeah. problem. So yeah. you have to, you have to cycle stuff in and out and you hope you yeah. make money on some of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. an expensive hobby, hobby very, right? Very. I mean, Especially, you get up that 30, 40 million bucks and you start adding Ferraris, forget it. You got to add another 20, oh, yeah. 30 million bucks on top of that. Uh, it's, and it's, you know, it's uh, at that point, it's not a hobby anymore. Uh -huh. It's a business. You're right. I wanted to ask, do you yeah. appreciate SLRs because of the driving experience or the investment or the styling? I or would all say three? all three. Okay. But right. when you have nine of them, I sold two. I only <laughs> have seven now, but it's at that point, it's a, you know, it's more of business, you know, investment. Yeah. I think they're sure. undervalued. I, I, you've yeah. been on it for a long time. I mean, but these I agree. definitely will be a million dollar car. Yeah. When there's the turbine wheels, the exhaust underneath, the long hood, just like the P1, you can notice it when you see one on the road. Yeah. You can spot you can't an SLR. It. You can't yeah. miss it. Yeah. So these, is, it, 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 what sets it apart? I don't see these on the road at all. Well, they're yeah, they're in Illinois. Uh, There's like, like two. I know. I'm like, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm seeing more Bugattis on the road, I think, than I've seen these. There are, yeah. there are literally more Bugattis in Illinois than SLRs. Yeah, that's like, why seriously. these will go up. And in five years, uh, this year was the 20th anniversary of SLR. So five more years, they become classic. Yeah, sure. And then now, collectors will... It'll go on their radar. It'll click, yeah. yeah. But if you want an SLR, I make you a good deal. <laughs> Steve, do it. I don't want enough. They're Impulse. Really, no, they're really cool not, looking no, cars. You can't you can compare this to your car. 612 horsepower, yeah. five speed. So yeah, it's not, but for 20 year old car, Kurt, that's 612 crazy horsepower. fast. Yeah, it that's still crazy. holds ass. Yes. Uh, I think it's, the road presence is arguably yeah. more like, they're crazy to see yes. them on the street. Agreed. It no, looks it so looks, crazy. Yeah, it gets a lot of look at the stoplights because people are thinking it's a regular CLK Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this cool. one only has a thousand miles. Um, I bought this four or five years ago. Black is, believe it or not, very, very high in demand for SLRs. Yeah. There's not that many blacks. Okay. Especially black on black. But mm, so this it. one, I've got several offers on it throughout the past two years, but I'm going to keep it. Like, I'm going to wait until it's a million dollars plus. Yeah. I yeah. have one, two, three. One more in the shop, four silver SLRs. What, what is Those the price things. where where if these hit that price, like you're selling all of them? I think over 750, 800. Okay, then you're like, all right, it's time to capitalize yeah. on these, okay. Yeah, I got you. you know, I gotta make room for the new ones coming in. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. What are you that's most excited for? for the Valkyrie is Spider. Oh, that's yeah. right. He was saying that, yeah. I yeah, Valkyrie yeah. Spider. I it's mean, the cool Bolit too, car. the Bugatti Bolit is gonna be, but the problem is I can't take it to lunch. 
Same with you the know? Valkyrie. I mean, right? you can. No, it's you just can. illegal. Oh, the Valkyries, they are going to make yeah. them street yeah. legal? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a period in time where they said they weren't going to? The AMG 1. AMG 1 is the okay. one. was not the Valkyrie. I have to bring Valkyrie's it in as a race car. I yeah. got you. You run your whole business out of here, too, right? Or oh, yeah, yeah. So this is 71,000 square feet building on 6.2 acres. Yeah. So I occupy basically two floors. Yeah. I have my multiple companies up there, yeah. and then this is my office. My desk is actually coming where that white Porsche is. Oh, your office will be in here. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah, I yeah. love it. So my desk is going to be in that corner. That's the lounge. Yeah. I'm going to put the Solos GT on that turner. There you go. Yeah. And then oh. that's really the main entrance there when you come through the lobby. Yeah. But let me show you guys the lobby. The yes, lobby is yes. wow. You guys want to see the lobby? Hey guys, our new merch line just dropped over at thehelmetechcollection.com. The link is in the description below. As you all know, all the proceeds for merchandise sales go to charity. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks so much. This is crazy. This is gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> so they spent over 60 million bucks in this building. Oh, you gotta see, it's, it's uh, over the top with gold leafing. And, and you said this was a Christian church and this, yeah. is how, this is how it was? Oh yeah, yeah, so that fountain I imported from Italy. It's $300,000 fountain, 37,000 pound of marble. Wow. It took two different cranes to bring it in, but I wanted like a focal point when you look out, you know? I ran out of money for the chandelier, so. <laughs> I know commercial real estate's funky right now. Office oh. building, office buildings are Dude, bad, bad. One million a square feet. I've been doing this since '92. Yeah, this is my fourth recession. So, yeah, how was it? See, so, that's the thing that they claim it's not a recession, but every business owner I talk to, it, every business owner, down. yeah. Every, yeah. every business owner says, no, I'm feeling it, but everything yeah. they say on employment's a record low. Like, but what I don't get that rates have tripled, right? Especially yeah. for cars and boats and jets. Yeah. And people are still buying, yeah. like I still know. financing. They are. Like, it's got to stop. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, so, either the finance rates go down or people yeah, slow that down. It has to. And I know I this is don't cool. turn the ACs on because it runs on a big chiller system back there, and yeah. my electric is like. Oh yeah, so if you're not going to. I be have in here, separate no system need. for my floor. So this is a 250 person um, kind of like an event. Are you going to host events here and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Eventually, That's... because I'm getting my permit now. Okay. Because you know this has very unique, you know design right yeah all the fountains is perfect for weddings yep bar mitzvahs corporate functions right Holiday. so you'll like le you'll like lease the space out oh yeah for, oh, that's yeah, awesome. yeah i mean just the, this venue plus yeah. outside right yeah you got to try to get your try to have them pay yeah, your you gotta, mortgage right oh yeah so nice hamilton collection pop-up car show 2024 <laughs> uh. <laughs> an elevator very nice so i made this in the, yeah it's got an elevator so i'll just give you guys a peek in here because there may be employees no on conference no calls and stuff this is my oh this is really nice oh, yeah. you, like how does this come out of you have super like i don't yeah. even know how to explain the lobby and then you walk into modern yeah. glass storefront well, yeah this cost me over 500 grand because wow. this looked awful the very Actually. very durable flooring i like it yeah. Perfect, yeah so i have offices all over here wraps around bullpen open area but the area you're gonna like yeah. is the next one okay, auditorium let's do it. this is beautiful nice yeah. job on thank this, you man. Oh, mercy. Oh yeah, look at the ceiling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me turn on the lights because That's I don't have good. insurance, man. I don't want you guys to fall down. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Just kidding. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. N Natalia's <laughs> looking for a reason to retire young, right, Natalia? Come on in. Always. I'm just kidding, Natalia. That's that or Marin Rich. That's fine. Yeah, so this options. was their... I'm going right here, right in center. This is where they had, you know, all their scenes and cameras and what have you in. Oh, this was like where they filmed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got... You know, fully acoustic is uh, pretty cool. I've had. Wow, you know, very acoustic. <laughs> like, don't tell that. Tommy because he'll start singing opera. Oh, oh yeah. you're a huge opera. Go in the center. Right, oh, what, are you gonna, God, what are you going to do with this room then? Well, here is going to be another venue for events. You okay. know, doing like mastermind events. All right. Down here is a. What's cool is this building's kind of separate from the main building and is connected through that the skywalk we okay. just came over. So you can have your valet drop people <clears> off here yep. and do a cool. You know, reception here. Oh my gosh, it's confusing. Yeah, I know. Shiny. So here, it's it's right now, it's a one member cigar lounge. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, me. Was, was this property like bankruptcy or they just sold and moved somewhere else? No, so when the pastor passed away, wife passed away, the son, you know, just moved to uh, Tustin, another city. Yeah. Kind of downsized. Okay. But downsized. yeah, they were here for 20, over 25 years. Another humidor, very nice. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have those in yeah. every room. So we gotta yeah. ask the questions that the people wanna hear. What's your favorite cigar? Your all time favorite, like, if you could have one cigar for the rest of your life, what cigar would it be? Oh. I would say Opus X Fuente. Opus okay. X Fuente. Yeah. I've never heard of it, but I'm gonna yeah, yeah. have to try it. How, how, yeah, much, how much are one of those? 
Eh, they're not cheap. They're like 100 bucks a stick okay. probably. Okay. Monte Cristo number two, the Cuban ones, is my favorite. You can't even find them. I used to smoke this for 10 years. Yeah. Every day. But now it's like, like extremely difficult to get. How many yeah. cigars a day do you go through? Uh, minimum <laughs> one, sometimes two. It's like I wanted to. That's, that's like me and Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah for real. What, what was this room? So like, this was the, the reception. They used to have the their top donors or guests uh, come here, you know. It was uh, a pay to play it. system. Yep. And then take them up there, set them down and empty uh -huh. their wallets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. We really My appreciate pleasure. your hospitality as always. Um, I will see you next year if you're willing to have us. Yes. And then Are I will kidding? see you at Quail as well. We'll Thank make you. this an every year ritual. Yes. Before, before yes. Pebble, you come here. Yes. <laughs> so let's do it. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Drive appreciate it, man. safe. And make sure you don't go at an angle when you do That's deal. what she said. I don't want any invoices coming. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate you, sir. You, sir.